Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Sanchit and today we are going to start a new series as prelims is approaching that is on 28th May 2023. So it is high time that all the aspirants should start revising the subjects and what could be better than revising the history. So now we are going to pick most important topics from the history subject and we will start preparing for the prelims 2023 or revising the topics from the perspective of 2023 prelims. So today I have decided to choose or study a new topic that is the schools of Hindu philosophy or Indian philosophy. So it is a very important topic. We will discuss what are the various schools one by one. So I have divided this topic into two videos, two parts. This is the part one and this will be followed by the part two. So let's start discussing this topic. So first of all, you need to learn about that as per the philosophy, what are the goals of human life? That is the first question. So what happened when there was establishment of the society and there was social order which was based on Varna. So thinkers, intellectuals decided that a person, a human should have some goals in the life which are to be achieved. And those goals are known as Purushar. The goals are known as Purushar and they are four in number. So those goals are Art, Kaam, Dharam and Moksh. So in the human life, one has to achieve all those four goals. Art is related with the economic prosperity. So you should have wealth, you should be working and so on. Calm is related with the physical pleasures. Physical pleasures. And then the dharma, that is the social order should be maintained. The social order should be maintained. And the highest goal is moksha, that is salvation. And the salvation means that one needs to free from the cycle of birth and death. So this was decided that these four goals should be achieved one by one and when these goals were decided, now it was time that how to achieve this. It was written in some text. So if I talk about earth, it is written in the earth shast by Kautilya. We have all listened about or read about this book that is the Arthshast. Now, next is Kam, and for that there was another book that is the Kam Sutra of Vatsasayan. That is the Kam Sutra. Next, Dharam. So to achieve Dharam, there were there was discussions and it was decided that we should write books and those books are in the form of Dharam Shastras. Dharam Shastras. Now, question was, what about the moksha? What about the salvation? So, this goal became the subject matter of philosophy or Darshan. Now, to achieve salvation, the intellectuals started discussions and this became the subject matter of philosophy. So, this, is, should, this should be clear that every human needs to achieve some goal. One is Earth, second is Kaam, third is the Dharma and the fourth one is your Moksha. So, let's discuss now that we have reached a point where we know that what is the subject matter of philosophy. The subject matter of philosophy is salvation and moksha. Now, Indian philosophy, 
is classified or the schools of Indian philosophy are classified into two schools, two main branches. One branch is the orthodox school or the Aastic schools and the next branch is your heterodox or Gnostic schools. Now you must have heard about the words Aastic and Gnostic. Please do not get confused that the common meaning of Aastic or Gnostic is related with the God. Aastic is the one who believes in the God and the Gnostic who believes, who doesn't believe in the God. But for the philosophical purposes, this meaning doesn't stand here. So what is the meaning of Aastic and Gnostic? So those schools which believe in the authority of Veda, which believe in authority of Veda. So those schools are classified under the Aastic school and those schools which do not believe in the authority of Veda are known as the Gnostic schools or heterodox school. So I hope the classification is clear why on what basis it is classified. Now under the orthodox schools we have got six schools of Hindu philosophy or Indian philosophy and under heterodox we have got Jainism, Buddhism and the third is Charvak and there are other schools but you need to remember this much. Jainism, Buddhism and Charvak they are classified under heterodox schools that is they do not believe in the authority of Vedas. Now for this video I am going to discuss the three schools out of six Aastic schools of Indian philosophy. So for your learning purpose the six schools are number one Sankhya or Samakhya, second is Yog, third is Nyay, fourth is Vaisheshika and the fifth one is Purvimimans and the last one is Vedant. So we are going to discuss one by one these schools. We will start with Sankhya or Samakhya and in this video we are going to learn about these three schools Sankhya, Yog and Nyay. So let's start discussing one by one. So the first school I am going to discuss is the Samakhya or one of the earliest schools of philosophy. So you should know that who propounded. So it was founded by Kapil. Now what are the major points you need to remember? So first of all you should remember that according to this school divine agency. Let me just write it divine agency. That is God or some supernatural power is not required for the creation of the world. Then how this world was created? So for the creation of this world, nature is enough. So according to this school, nature or prakriti is enough for the creation of the world. This viewpoint was in the earlier years of the foundation of this theory. Later on, what was added? A spiritual element was added. So nature plus soul or that is Purush. That is a spiritual element. So when Prakriti and Purush combine, there is a formation of the world. So as per this theory, Requirement of God is not there for the creation of the or the evolution of the world. What is required? The nature and the soul that is Purush. Now, next point is, we are all discussing this because our goal is salvation. So how to achieve the salvation? So as per this school, knowledge, gain knowledge and there will be salvation. Now the question is how to attain this knowledge. So steps have been given. First is Pratyaksh. Pratyaksh that is perception. Second is Anuman that is inference. 
and the third one is the shabad that is hearing so through all these methods that is pratyaksh anuman shabad one gains knowledge and through the gain of knowledge one attains moksha or salvation so this is the first school of indian philosophy that is sankhya or samakhya sankhya or samakhya literally means to count i hope and it was founded by kapil so i hope the first school of indian philosophy is clear to everyone next the next school is yog so as you can imagine what could be the way of attaining salvation so it is simply the mental and physical applications and how do you do that it is through some asanas and it is through pranayam that is the breathing exercises through these two things that is performing some specific asanas and pranayam that is breathing exercises one controls the mind and through controlling the mind one attains salvation so this is the yog school of philosophy and there are two types of yog first is hatha yog and the second is raj yog these are the two kind of yog through hatha yog one tries to control the physical body so that body supports the physical body supports what is required to gain the salvation next is raj yog through this mental capacity is increased mind is sharpened and by combining both hat and raj yog one attains salvation so this is the second school of philosophy that is the yog school of philosophy one thing you need to remember is as the sankhya school was propounded founded by kapil similarly this school was founded by patanjali patanjali so you also need to remember some factual information we are all preparing for prelims so both factual as well as prelims or philosophical knowledge is also required to clear the prelims exam so these are the two schools and the third school is the nyay or also known as the school of analysis school of analysis and under the school logic reason is everything so by this school one needs to attain salvation and for attaining salvation you need to gain knowledge but that knowledge should be through proper analysis through applying proper logic and reason so that is the nyay school of philosophy so in this school they talk about proofs or pramans they talk about proofs and pramans and there are different types of proofs and praman but the principal praman is the pratyaksh praman and what is pratyaksh praman the praman or the proof you get through using your five senses so one uses his five senses and then whatever he feels or sees he applies and gain knowledge and then attains salvation there are other pramans also so you have the anuman praman that is the inference then you have the shabad praman that is the through the listening to the words of expert so pratyaksh praman that is the perception you have got anuman praman and the third is shabad praman so these are the three schools so this is the part one of this video we are discussing the six schools of hindu philosophy or indian philosophy and in the part two we are going to continue this discussion please revise this topic this is important from prelims perspective i hope you have gotten enough knowledge regarding this one thing more yes
I forgot to tell you that this school was founded by Gautam. So we have Kapil, Patanjali and Gautam. So these are the three schools and the remaining schools will be discussed in the part two. So thank you. Keep watching other videos as well as keep learning and all the best for prelims. Thank you.